Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at an infamous pair of boots called War Travelers. Now War Travelers are great for magic finding, but they also have another hidden effect that a lot of people don't know about. And it is the massive amount of increased damage, uh, which actually works out very, very nicely for a class called the Avenger. So let's go over these boots, we'll talk about the various effects that they have, and we'll go over the magic find. So War Traveler's Battle Boots are 133 defense. They are a strength requirement of only 95. They have a level requirement of 42, and uh, they give you 25% faster run walk, which is always nice to have. We have a adds 15 to 25 damage mechanic. And this adds 15 to 25 damage mechanic actually adds to your physical damage. Um, if we take off, for instance, our uh, Gore Riders here, you'll notice that we're at 3 to 38 damage on our punch. And when we add them, we go to 52 to 122. The damage that we gain from these actually affects the base damage of our weapon and is absolutely amazing. And on characters like a Vengeance Paladin, can have a huge boost in damage to the amount of uh, output that they're capable of. Uh, I actually utilize these to great extent on my Vengeance Paladin pre Diablo 2 Resurrected, and on my Vengeance Paladin now, I utilize them here and there as needed. Sometimes I don't actually need the extra physical damage, so I go with uh, some Crushing Blow, for instance. And I know that might sound a little bit confusing to say I don't need the actual physical damage, so I'm going to go with Crushing Blow. But because of the way that Vengeance works, it translates out my physical damage into elemental damage. So you have to understand that adding in 15 to 25 extra damage on the base of my weapon can translate out to a huge percentage of damage on something like Vengeance. Um, now, these particular boots also have 190% enhanced defense for the max, and they roll as low as 150% enhanced. So, uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, we also have plus 10 strength, which is definitely very nice for uh, putting on equipment, and plus 10 to vitality, which is going to give you a little bit of HP. Now that is going to vary depending on characters, because each character is going to get a different amount of HP for that 10 vitality, so keep that in mind. We also have 40% slower stamina drain, which at level 42 might be helpful, but at end game is not going to be very helpful at all. Um, and we have attacker takes damage of 6, which uh, is not even useful at level 42. Uh, then we have the magic find, and the magic find rolls as low as 30% and as high as 50%, uh, which is absolutely amazing. And if you happen to find a 50% pair of war travelers, they're actually worth quite a pretty penny. Even 49% are worth quite a pretty penny, uh, because in general, they are one of the highest magic find boots in the game. And 50% uh, and are, uh, are absolutely great. Now, we can upgrade these if we wanted to, so uh, why not? Uh, we're going to need a Lem and a Co, and we're going to need a Perfect Diamond. So uh, upgrading these will increase the kick damage, and that is something that I did not state. So the kick damage on these is actually 37 to 64. And you might be asking yourself, well, why would you want to upgrade these? Well, if you're a magic-finding assassin, who happens to be a Kixin, maybe you're looking for a magic-find alternative to your your uh, serious boots, so to speak, right? So um, so we're going to upgrade these to their highest form, and we're going to see what kind of damage they get. So we're going to go from 133 defense, uh, 37 to 64 kick damage, uh, 95 strength requirement, and level 42, to War Traveler Mirrored Boots. Now, Mirrored Boots uh, have a different kick damage than the battle boots and uh, that kick damage is 50 to 144 so quite a nice boost there for the kick damage uh, so we go to 175 defense 163 strength 67 level requirement and 50 to 145 kick damage so if you were a kick assassin a pretty solid upgrade if you're not a kick assassin 163 strength is really high um, it's not so high that it's <clears throat> undoable but I do feel like for the meager amount of defense bonus that we got there, uh, which I feel like was what, like uh, 139, like about 30 or 40 defense, not even really that much. So, I mean, I don't really feel like it's worth it if you're not a kicks in. But if you are a kicks in, this could be a pretty solid magic find option for you if you happen to be a magic find kicks in. 
Um, or if you're a Magic Find Martial Arts Assassin, which is actually going to be a thing in the upcoming 2.4 patch because all the martial arts skills did, did really get fixed, to be honest. And, uh, and they're a lot more powerful now than they were ever before. Hmm. Now, I would like to show you how this uh, damage effect works on my Vengeance Paladin. So give me just a second. I'm going to pull him up. I'm going to find his War Travelers. We're going to put them on him, and I'm going to show you the difference that it makes in his damage output. <laughs> well, it took me like 30 minutes, but eventually I found my War Travelers hiding on one of my mules. And um, I don't know why it was on one of my mules. I thought I had it in my regular stash, but whatever. Uh, eventually, I did manage to locate them, and I'd like to show you guys the difference in damage between when I'm running uh, rather gore riders, which I can actually take off. You'll see they have no actual effect on the, the damage in the window. Uh, now, the way, the way that Vengeance works is it actually gives me a massive amount of elemental damage. 200, uh, sorry, 344% fire, as you can see there. Uh, 294% cold and 354% lightning. So what it does is it actually takes my base damage and it actually gives me lightning, fire, and cold damage based on what that base damage is. And so when I add something even as small as 15 to 25 damage to my base, you will notice a huge increase in my vengeance damage. So I'm going to go from 2,274 to 7,096 to 2,493 and 7,488. I literally add almost 400 damage to my top end and uh, probably about 250 damage to my bottom end uh, just for putting on a single pair of boots, which is very, very nice. And that is elemental damage that I'm adding along with physical damage. So the 15 to 25 is acting as a physical damage, which is adding to the base of my weapon damage, which is then being translated out by the huge bonuses, the 344%, the 294%, and the 354% into cold, lightning, and fire damage, which is translating out to a pretty massive bump in the amount of damage that my Vengeance does. Now, I do tend to use Gore Riders with this setup specifically so that I can get the Crushing Blow uh, because I don't tend to wear a lot of Crushing Blow equipment. As you notice, I don't really have a lot of Crushing Blow pieces of equipment on. Um, and so having a little bit of Crushing Blow as opposed to none is nice to have. Um, but I do tend to like to use the War Traps just for the raw amount of damage that it gives me along with the Magic Find, which is always nice to have. Now, if you wanted to find yourself a pair of War Travelers, where would you look? Now, that is a question, right? So, we're going to take a look at Silo's Pen, and we're going to have a look-see and kind of determine where the best place to farm for a pair of uh, War Travelers is. So, uh, first, we're going to assume that we have probably about 150% magic find. I like to do that up number it's a pretty nice number. I think most people can achieve 150% magic find relatively easily. And if you want to run these calculations using your own specific amount of magic find, then by all means. But if you're looking for a pair of war traps, you might not have a very high magic find. All right, we're going to look at bosses first. And uh, we're going to look at all difficulties in player one. And uh, as you can see here, our best chance for a non-quest kill is Bail in Nightmare Difficulty with a 1 in 7,400, 7,000, 7, 1,749. Man, I'm getting tongue-tied here. Uh, as well as Diablo in Nightmare with a 1 in 1,787. Uh, we also got Andariel, which is pretty close as well, and Mephisto in Hell Difficulty. All three of these are pretty good chances as well. But honestly, it really seems like Diablo there might be your best bet because he's Nightmare Difficulty, he's relatively easy, should be very easy to farm, and if you're having trouble uh, farming in Hell Difficulty, this could be a, a, very, a very interesting choice. We also have Mephisto in Nightmare Difficulty here with one in 2,406. Not bad. So let's take a look at Super Uniques, and let's see what Super Uniques have a chance of dropping these boots. Uh, so the Cow King in Hell at 1 in 4,483, not bad. Uh, Neolithak in Nightmare, also uh, 1 in 12,600, not terrible. Um, a lot of really poor chances here. The Cow King in Nightmare has a poor chance of dropping these. Uh, Doc Farron in Nightmare, Pindleskin in Nightmare. Uh, Thresh Socket in Nightmare, Eldritch in Nightmare, uh, Shank in Nightmare. So honestly, if you wanted to just try and do like a little a little uh, magic find loop, um, you could definitely do the Shank, Eldritch, Thresh Socket, 
Pindle Skin Doc Farron combo. Uh, that is actually a really easy combo to do. You basically just teleport outside of Herogroth, right from the door. You go straight down and you kill Doc Farron. Then you go straight down and kill Shank. And then you go straight down and you kill Eldritch. And then you go straight down and you kill Thrash. Uh, there's really not much more to it than that. Uh, very, uh, very interesting little combo there that you could do to uh, get yourself a nice pair of War Traps. Um, I think that's pretty much all we need to do because honestly, uh, between El everything that we've gone over so far, those probabilities are the best, and uh, and that's really your best combo to see uh, to try and get a pair of War Traps. Now, um, whether you're using War Traps for Magic Find or you're using War Travelers on your Vengeance Paladin, um, that damage boost is kind of nice. I, d I definitely like seeing the damage just go up, like literally by 400 points, just for putting on a pair of boots. It certainly is very sweet. As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Uh, even when we are talking about some traveling wars, that was a terrible joke. And as always, thanks for watching. And keep watching.